you know what the interesting thing is i feel like we could do this on ddr4 anyway why no ddr5 um no ddr5 for me because well nothing ever changes yes but just from the way that they're talking about the architecture and the leaks that i've seen for ddr5 it's pointless so so nothing ever changes is kind of the same so you can all okay you can always look at the past to predict the future right so the 11 900k you have b die that will do 3600 in gear one right you'll have hynix chips that do fucking 5200 or whatever in gear two right this one's faster for gaming so even though the rocket lake kit the rocket lake chip can go that fast the latency is too damn high this is actually faster so i'm saying so if the 12 900k with d you can go let's say for example i would assume that the um i would assume that the gear ratios wouldn't change or at least not degrade right so let's say gear one for 12 k 37 33 let's say right gear one gear two let's say that one will go up to six thousand what's what's the base spec for ddr5 what's the base speed ddr5 base speed i don't even know what the hell that is dude 8400 so we already know that's the max right that's gonna be gear four that's our that there's already been screenshots of that 8400 Where's that Ida picture? Um, Alder Lake Ida. 4,800. This would be gear two, right? Look at that shit. So DDR5. So you could actually make, okay. DDR5 this would be this would be b-die right the gear two would be like hynix slash ddr5 5000 and then this would be ddr5 only right <sighs> who's gonna be gaming on this shit dude i don't i don't need uh i don't need fucking uh, the, the the other screenshot was like 90 fucking gigs per second of bandwidth i don't need that shit dude uh, is it this one no this one that's it i don't even know what speed here 6400 this guy did right so this guy did 6400 this might look like gear four how how fucking latency it is right 6400 what am i gonna get ddr5 for man this needs to be like in the 40s or 30s we already know that it's still ring bus and it's still a monolithic design this is this is fucking unacceptable dude this is gonna perform like complete dog shit so i'm not even gonna buy a ddr5 board dude hell no I can already I can already tell you until like the B die equivalent of DDR5 comes out and then maybe you buy that shit and then down clock it all to hell like 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 maybe the setup like maybe what the setup is going to be is buying like DDR5 fucking 10,000 megahertz memory or whatever and this is like the DDR5 B die but you just gear it down to this and then now all of a sudden you're running like 3733 c10 or some fucking crazy shit at 1.1 volt you know what i mean that would be the good shit right they're like you gotta wait though wait for build zoid to figure that out i'm not gonna fucking waste my money on figure that out right and 
this is not gonna happen for like two or three years until like the, the manufacturing process gets like to the b die equivalent right it's not gonna fucking happen dude you got you have another two years of ddr4 like if you were to go and buy a new system right now and you bought ddr4 b die you're good for at least another two or three years dude i'm not worried about that at all this is a fucking joke this is a complete joke uh let me catch you up here but that's kind of my my reasoning for not worrying about ddr5 right it's like that with every generation the swap from ddr2 to ddr3 ddr3 to ddr4 it's fucking pointless dude uh let me catch you up here you always have to wait a couple of years there are a lot of ddr5 fanboys it, it's true man it's, the, it's really weird like there's a lot of um if you go to like the leaker channels like moore's law is dead i'm fucking i'm just all in trolling that guy now if you go to like his channel it's all the comments are like should i wait for ddr5 it, it like i don't know i don't know man yeah what i think it said the voltage here from what i remember no did it not oh yeah 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 to achieve this speed it will require 1.5 volts which is 400 millivolts 400 so the standard ddr oh ddr4 yeah okay 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 yeah okay yeah so there's not going to be much headroom in these things right off the bat dude uh just because they're making it 1.1.1 volt jdex spec it looks like the efficiency hasn't increased at all like we're still dumping 1.5 fucking volts into those bitches right and then like you know what the interesting thing is i feel like we could do this on ddr4 anyway do you know what i mean like if you go to like the liquid nitrogen numbers and those guys are shoving like 1.6 1.7 volts they're already getting this at tighter, at tighter timings than this, right? Like, what the hell did we even change with DDR5? Like, what Like, what did we accomplish here? Is it just like a signaling thing? I, okay, you know, okay, here's how I would word it. Here's how I would word it. DDR5 isn't a performance improvement. DDR5 is a quality of life and platform improvement that's what i would say signaling integrity and all that shit. because all ddr5 really does what did they say you're allowed to have like 256 gigabyte dims now so there's that there's there's sheer capacity it has e onboard ecc or whatever even though it's like kind of fake ecc it's still ecc right so you're not gonna blue screen in the error as much and shit. So we didn't really get much. We got capacity in ECC, but we didn't really get a speed increase at all. Because DDR4 already does all this shit. Do you know what I mean?